Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be getting some of the quests done that were for Astral Sorcery, and then we're going to hop into Immersive Petroleum and get some of that wickedness done. Hopefully you guys are ready. All right, guys, so I'm back. Let's go ahead and hop back into um, some more of the Astral Sorcery, but we're not going to just do Astral Sorcery today. There's a little bit more we're going to go over. Um, as you can see, I've done some stuff down here. And we're going to start getting the uh, the oil production started with immersive petroleum. Um, but first, we need to complete a few quests. So that's where I'm here. Um, so I ended up grinding through all the shifting stars. That was a pain. But that was not as bad as getting 64 of the resonating gems. That was a, an actual pain. Um, so the resonating gem. Let me go back here because I just was going through all the quests over here. So for extra utilities, you needed 32 shifting stars. And I'm trying to get everything done that required at this time, um, Astral Sorcery. Um, so as you can see, nothing really requires it except for embers. And embers, it, I'm I was trying to think what is going to be good that embers is going to uh, help with uh, right now. I don't know. I don't really know. Um, it is a good thing before, um, this mod but over uh, for tinker's construct but we get tinker's construct around the same time but i was thinking what what is it good for and then i was like oh it's just going to be used uh to gate something else so <laughs> i don't know why i was thinking what the use is for um but we're going to be getting into embers which is going to be interesting um because embers in a sky block that's that's different i'm not used to that so we're gonna have to figure that out but anyways we have all the stuff so let's get some of these things completed um, so yeah, grinding this out, um, it, it, this one wasn't that bad because you could stack all the items in here and, you know, it just wasn't that big of a deal. I am wondering why, why this is not full when it was full. I was able to do this, all this processing during the day. And I have a feeling it's because I connected these guys to this. So I might have to re-break them and not have them connected to anything but the altar. It is going up. Is it becoming nighttime? It's becoming daytime. Can't really tell. Um, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get some of this stuff completed. I need to, let's get this organized. I, I want all this stuff back in my inventory, so. Cause we are gonna be dealing with a few things today. But let's get all of these stars, except for I think one. I think except for one, well, we'll have to send these, right? Oh boy. Did it not do anything? Manually did, okay, 30. There weren't 30 of them, we need two more. And that should have been the two more. That one's complete, now we need the experience. Ow. Oh, I took my, wow, I took my chaos ring out of there. I gotta have that. Okay, so now we need to go back down here and grab our experience, because we have tons of it down here. We only need 250. Uh, right? 256. Complete. And there we go. We're able to claim it. Perfect. So we have extra utilities now. That is going to make our life a lot easier, not just for power generation, uh, which it's going to really help for power generation, because there's some really good power generation stuff that's a part of extra utilities. And then we also have access to drums and things of that nature, so... That's going to make our life even easier. All right, so we have that done. We can't really get uh, this one done, but we can go ahead and get those gems uh, in there. Uh, let me go ahead and find, I must have threw them over here. There they are. And we can go ahead and add the add those guys. So that way later, all we need is the compressed tanks and we're good to go. What did that open, by the way? To the aether? We need magical wood. Oh, wow. Getting magical wood is a pain. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have had to make a little bit of it. Um, but look, just look at the recipe. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Mac pack updated again. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, magical wood. Right here. Here's the magical wood. Um, so yeah, the enchanter is how you make this. But first you need bookshelves. 
Um, you can do upgrades, so that does help a little bit, but yeah. I, I was trying to remember. I thought you could get magical wood by itself, but I guess that recipe is disabled. Wow, look at that magical wood chicken. That is hilarious looking. Um, but yeah, that's that's something we're going to worry about later on. Okay, so today is really all about immersive petroleum. And as you can see, I did upgrade all my power to the high voltage. Um, I don't have enough really, I don't have enough power to really support high voltage. This is not supporting it, but I am getting the best out of it. Hey guy, what's going on? Let me just punch you. There you go. You're dead. Um, that was from the astral sorcery stuff. It's just floating around. Um, but yeah, all this uh, cable here is all running the same way I had it. I just had to make a little bit of it. Um, and then I ran the power all the way over here because this is where we're going to have some of our machines. And as you can see, you can place down the sample cores and that's what I did. So we're going to actually get these machines up and running. Um, we're going to get a pump, a, our pump jack, and then we're going to get a tower, distillation tower. Um, and we're going to have a few tanks here as well to store some of the fluids. Um, also, I think now we have access to drums. We do. So here's our drums now that we have extra utilities. Oh man, our life just became a lot easier with extra utilities. <laughs> We're going to have so much so much more stuff going on here. Um, it's just going to become a lot, lot more effortless. All right, so let's go back up here. I do have uh, something I need to grab. All of these things out of this section. There we go. I think that's it. I might need the extraction pump. I'm not sure yet. Um, let me go ahead and sort this out. I want this, all my wand stuff, anything that's from that mod I want in here. There we go. Perfect. Now I can actually turn that on just in case I drop anything. I really don't want anything to fall over here. Now we can get started. All right. So in this chest, I pretty much have everything set up that I'm going to need. This is the pump jack. This is going to be the distillation tower. And then this is going to be some of our tanks. We're actually going to use immersive tanks because they're pretty nice. We could use the drums. I know it would take up less space, but I want to make it look nicer by using the actual immersive engineering. And plus I made this before I had it unlocked. So um, technically you could do this before you finish astro or astral sorcery because uh, everything within its own mod is there for you. So let me go ahead and grab all of this and I'm going to grab the levers just for now. And then we're going to go ahead and do this. Same thing we did earlier, we need to, or same thing we did for the last machine, we need to find the machine that we're gonna build and it's all under the oil processing tab. And we're gonna go under pump jack and just exit out. And then we can combine that with this and that's gonna give us a pump jack um, guide here. So let's figure out where we wanna put this thing. Um, I can't remember which side which side's the actual uh, export of the fluids? I need to find that out. Is it right here? Looks like both sides exports fluids. Let me figure this out, okay. Yeah, both of these sides look like they both export fluids, so it doesn't really matter which side we build it, as long as we build it. Okay, so I think I might build it over here then, because I might end up putting two here. You never know. To maybe where I end up going. Let me see. Can I? Yeah, I can rotate it. Okay. Um, pump jack, you're going to go. Will this be fine? I don't know how long this thing is. That fits perfectly. Okay. So, yeah, that fits perfect. So, let's go ahead and build our first one. And we need this in our inventory um, along with everything else. Just gonna kind of clear everything out. And we're gonna put everything there. Okay. So light engineering block, still scaffolding. Oh, I placed that in the wrong spot, of course. Why well, have a pick? Yeah, all of these things can easily be made with this projector. I, I love the idea of the projector. That was something that was added into 1.12. I don't remember if it was 1.10. I think it might have been. But in 1.7, this was not a thing. So, I mean, this thing this thing is awesome. Uh, we need your heavy engineering blocks, light, redstone. And then right here, we need our fence. 
Take that. Another fence. Another heavy engineering block. And this guy right here is a block of steel. And then I can go ahead and actually break that. And then it's another block of steel on top of that. This machine uses a lot of steel, just keep that in mind. So there we go. Uh, and then our fence, we need uh, two more. There we go. And the last one. Bam. Perfect. So this guy is completed. Now we need our hammer. And we cl click this guy. Perfect. And then... Can't remember how to actually remove it. There we go. Yeah, you click it. And then click the... Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Gotta get it out of your inventory. Um, so yeah, it's gone. So now this guy will run, but we have to give it some power. And to do that, that's why I have some of these cables. And we have some high voltage coil. All right, so let's go ahead and hook this up. I still don't think this is gonna be enough power to actually run this thing at full throttle. It is gonna stutter a little bit. It's doing pretty good though. I mean, I gotta give it some props. It's not doing that bad. We are gonna help it out though by providing um, this entire network with some more power thanks to uh, generators. Because now we have access to the generators from, let me take a look here. So we should have some generators, yeah, right here. All of those generators, especially the ender pearl one. Uh, we have so many ender pearls that I'm gonna be making an enderman generator or ender pearl generator that's just gonna happen. So right here, we need to start building some tanks. So um, one tank that I wanna have is going to be a tank that stores oil. So let me go ahead and get enough for oil. And there we go. Um, I think this guy is pretty easy to build, if I remember it correctly. Um, I don't know how close I want this thing to be to it. Maybe one block away? If I remember correctly, it is like this. It's a three by three. And it literally, you just keep building up. And I think the center is hollow. I say the center's hollow, then I cover it up. Like that. And then you click with your hammer. I don't remember where. I might have to actually use the book <laughs> for this. Uh, so let's go back. Um, it's actually the tank. Oh yeah, there's one down at the bottom. which is kind of confusing now that I think about it. I think I know what it what the problem is though. This needs to go down. Then it's closed off. Oops. It's been a while since I've had to make a tank. And then I click the bottom block, I think. Ah, there we go. All right, so there's our tank. Um, and then we should be able to run a pipe directly to this and it will start storing our fluid for us. I'm going to use immersive engineering stuff and look at that it's already starting to store and the power is actually not doing too bad. So we got quite a bit stored up in here I don't know if, I don't think this has an internal buffer or anything but this is going to be our buffer tank for that. All right so next all right so I grabbed all the stuff for this let's go ahead and actually turn this here and then we're gonna go back to oil processing and we're gonna go into the distillation tower. This is a huge, huge tower, requires quite a bit of stuff, but I have all of it on me. Um, I forgot to mention, yeah, you can hover over the question mark and actually tells you the things you need, the supplies you need. 
and it tells you everything about it in this book. There's so much information here. You see, you get three different uh, fluids from this. And I have a special item that's going to help us sort those through. Um, but first of all, we need to build this thing. So let's put that up here. Let's get the uh, projector going. And that should now be set up for the distillation tower. And unfortunately, the distillation tower is a two wide block. Let me try and uh, actually rotate this thing. So this is the side where the power and stuff goes. It is not the side where all of the uh, products go. So let me try and see which way this is rotating. Okay, so this way is the front. So we ha we'll have to put the fluid on the side. And I think that it, this is perfect right here. I need to go back. If I go back, I'm touching that block. So right here. And it's going to output it onto the right-hand side, I do believe. It's where the fluid's going to go. Okay. So over here is where we'll have to uh, sort through our different fluids. All right, that seems fair to me. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing built. It requires a steel at the bottom. It's actually the steel heavy. It's like the, the use the most steel out of all the things I've built so far. And then one pipe, right? That's a pipe. Where's my pipes? I have my pipes gone over here. Put our pipe here. And then we need another pipe. Redstone block there. This is where our uh, steel scaffolding, or not steel scaffolding, iron sheet metal starts to go. Two more heavy engineering blocks and another piece of regular sheet metal. Now the sheet metal actually goes all the way up and this goes all the way up as well. So you can actually just, we can just go ahead and get this going. Otherwise it's going to take us forever. And I actually, am, once I get this stuff built, I will remove that beam. Um, that way you guys don't, that doesn't annoy you guys. This is just the marker showing where my oil was at. Perfect. And then this actually will go all the way up as well. This is just steel. There's like, this is the side that has a ladder that goes all the way up to the top. Or near the top. Perfect. Okay, and then we have another fluid pump. Because it actually, there's a fluid pump that goes up. And then we have the lovely steel half slabs as like platforms for this thing. And did it go up? I'm needing the fluid, I mean the pipe. So yeah, this is a very interesting machine here to build. All of the immersive petroleum stuff was really, in, really cool when it was first introduced. Or at least I thought it was pretty cool. I just never had uh, the time to actually experiment with it. I might actually have to make some more of the uh, fluid pipes. Now that I think about it. So that goes all the way to the very top. And we're done. We're done with this, guys. We're done. So we take this, and I don't remember if it's click the redstone or click this empty block. Um, there we go. Click this side. Oh, I did turn it. This is turned wrong. Very wrong. Oh boy. Yeah, I have it completely wrong. This is where it's going to export stuff. Um, this is where it's going to actually, no, I got it right. This is where it exports fluids. This is where you import fluids. Yeah, I have it right. What am I talking about? So yeah, we're gonna take this and it's gonna in import into there. It looked like it was draining there for a second. I think it does. I don't think I have to flip a lever yet, do I? I'll find out if this thing doesn't work. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing off of here. And then we should be good. Okay, so let's get some power to this thing. We're going to need another high voltage cable. And we're going to give it some, some power. 
There we go. So this thing has some power. I love how the uh, the texture is actually broken up there. Um, and oh, we need a chest. I almost forgot. We need just a regular wooden chest. And doesn't this look so nice as you like come up here? You see all that going on? There we go. Perfect. We actually have a few quests we need to complete, but yeah, the the uh, not the chest doesn't go here. It goes on the other side. This is where we're going to have another item. Okay, so there's our chest. Perfect. Um, so, this is the, the tough part that we're going to have to use. We're going to need to switch these blocks. And this is why I have a fluid router. And I thought a fluid router would be a really good item to use here. Um, because we're going to have three separate tanks set up. And that's where I actually need to use the sheet metal. So I'm going to go ahead and build the uh, the tanks here. Um, here's all the stuff for them. And I'll be right back. All right, so I have all the tanks set up. And here's kind of what I was thinking about doing. Um, so I have a, a few pipes. I don't have enough pipes to actually complete this whole thing. I would prefer to have oh, this section here. I think you can actually open up the inventory. And so gasoline is first, then diesel, then lubricant. So if we can get the gas, if we can get the gasoline out first, which I would prefer the gasoline to possibly go into this tank over here, um, that would be the best solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to route this over until I can get the uh, the lubric or the gasoline into this tank, and it should start filling it up. Once that's done, then I can actually switch this whole section, and I won't have to use this method anymore. Um, actually, I need a bucket. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to need to get like everything over to here. So here's the diesel building up because we have that fluid going there. I don't think we can change what's what though. Um, and it might actually, this might actually work. Um, I don't, you know what? I don't want to have to rebuild the whole structure because I break something. Um, so if, if this happens, diesel should actually go up here. So let me go ahead and break this now. Where's my pick? There it is. I just want to be sure that this is going to actually work properly. So this is diesel at the bottom. So that should be filling up with diesel, right? I think. Yes, the diesel is out. And then it should be just lubricant at the bottom, right? Okay, so lubricant has not come out yet. That, it, that might be an issue. I don't know how we were supposed to get. So diesel is going to come out here. And then lubricant. Okay, so I need lubricant to go that way. So I'm going to need to make some more pumps and I'll be back. Okay, so I should, like I said, I should be able to get the lubricant over here. That should be filling up, taking the lubricant down. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and actually break all this because now that we have this sorted, I prefer to use this block. I can go get it. Oh, I have it on me right here. The fluid router. I prefer to have this set like it's supposed to be. Um, I'm not sure on the back. This might actually need... For a second, let me place it here. Um, I need to tell it what this side is. I think I can use my hammer. So this is the blue side, right? Filter data. I don't think it matters on this side. I think we use a bucket though. So like if I want the bucket here, I should be able to tell this. Nope, that didn't work. Well, I guess if that doesn't work, then I guess we're stuck to the, the normal method. I think the only other way we can do that is on that red side. You put diesel in there. And then on this side, you would have to have a bucket of whatever fluid you're going to be using. Actually, let's try this. So, I'm going to dump that back in there. 
Take a fluid of that. This is the yellow side. Gasoline. This is lubricant. The green side, we put lubricant in there. So now when we pump stuff into here, now it should be like separated. And it should only export from those sides regardless. So what's going on? Hopefully, hopefully that's the case. If not, you know, that that's just in case we empty one of these tanks completely out. This is like a must have, like you have to have this. Right? Is that working? It looks like it is pulling the liquids out, so it's doing its job. Yep, it's working. Perfect. So that's exactly what I wanted to do. It's all set up. So we now have diesel. Wow, we already have 20 buckets of diesel. And that is like some some insane power generation that is about to about to go down here. Um because diesel generators are ridiculous. And I can actually place the diesel generator anywhere because we have inner tanks, and I'm just going to pipe this into an inner tank. So yeah, this is uh this is actually became really nice. This is a really nice setup, and it doesn't take very long to set this up. Um, as long as you have the given you have the resources. And uh, you know what I'm really I'm just powering this whole thing with these water wheels. Honestly, all of this is coming from the water wheels. I'm pretty sure this is uh, this is also helping a power, but I mean, that's not much. It's very little power generation coming from there. It's really all just coming from the water wheels. I wish uh, I wish I could set more water or actually set water wheels over here, but I'm going to uh, revamp this mob farm eventually and it will not be here anymore. Um, so it's just going to take a little while. We're going to we're going to have to take a whole day to, to invest on revamping the, the mob farm. Um, but this does look like it's off centered, but the whole platform is actually off centered um, because normal your normal chunks are not a odd number. So you don't actually get that. Th you don't get that like single singular point in your chunks. The chunks are 16 by 16, which is an even number. So you would get a two block placement, which would be good for a block like the distillation tower, but not good for a block like this, which is three by three or three by whatever it is five. Um, so yeah, that's something, well, it's actually more than that, three by six. Um, but yeah, this guy's actually, they're chucking along quite nice. I'm not, I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, now, so I completed some quests. I was actually going to look at that. I completed some quests, not bees. I don't want embers. I have extra utilities. What is it? Heavy machinery? Yeah. Um, so I needed to collect some oil. Oh yeah. We have to grab a bucket of oil and that should complete that quest. Throw that back in there. All right, and any other liquids that we needed? I don't, I don't know. I think we grabbed everything. Lubricant? We can't actually get the lubricant. Oh, we need what's coming out of here. Oh, there we go. We have 32. We need 32 to complete a quest. We needed 32 to complete uh, the this quest right here. Bam. Detect that. Claim it. Would that unlock? Uh, oh, that un unlocked pneumatic craft. Right. Think so. I'm pretty sure it did, <laughs> but I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is actually, man, I'm enjoying this pack. I don't know about you guys, but we're really pushing through this pack. It's not, it's not taking me as long as I thought it would, but then again, I don't know how big this quest tree actually gets. Um, until you unlock all the mods that are in this pack and there's a lot of mods in this pack. Um, but it's only going to get easier and easier to start getting things because we're getting into like some more automatable equipment. Unlocking extra utilities was awesome because we're going to spend a couple of days on this. Not only do we unlock cursed earth and things like that, um, we unlocked a whole bunch of other things. What is that? Legal chunk loading? Oh, I remember what that is. That's going to be interesting. I've actually never used this. Um, it's part of a villager. For this, you're going to need you're going to need to make a villager farm. Uh, find one that will accept. And oh my gosh, this is going to be ridiculous. We have to make we have to make a. I've never made a villager farm. Is we, I've never done that vanilla mechanic. I've never done it. I know how to make a villager. Um, you have to use a potion on a you know your villager, and then if you get two of them, then you can you know make stuff like that. But that's gonna be rough. Can you actually? I wonder if you can. Well, I guess you can get these. You can actually make them, right? The morbs. I don't think you can. 
Uh, I think these might just like drop or something. Yeah, it's empty. And I guess you would put the villager in there. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, there's no way of like actually making a village <laughs> villager. Um, village highlighter. Yeah, all that fun stuff. But yeah, we'll definitely be getting into that soon. That sounds pretty rough in itself, creating a, a, a villager farm. But we're going to get it done. Uh, you know what I want to do with this, though? The main thing I want to do, I want this to expand out. And since it actually falls in this chunk, I can just chunk load this one area. And I think everything's encapsulated by it. Right? Just want to make sure I might have to actually chunk load that section and this section. Just to make sure. Actually, we have to chunk load the whole thing because my power will stop. It's okay though. We have we have access to all of this. This should all be chunk loaded anyways. I really don't know why it's not already. There we go. That's pretty much all of our base chunk loaded. There we go. So yeah, everything's chunk loaded. We don't have to worry about stuff going in and out of us or for us. We should be good. I am noticing uh, with all the stuff I'm I'm gathering up here, and you know it's kind of in one chunk area. Uh, we're within a few chunks. Um, I am noticing my FPS is dropping drastically, and I was trying to figure out what is possibly doing that. Um, I was looking in my uh, options, and under video settings, and I think it's quality. Um, I'm trying to figure out which one it was. It's not quality. It's actually perform. No. Other. Nope. I'm trying to remember animations. That's what it is. Particles. And if I set this to just decreased or minimal, if I set it to minimal, it like drastically helps. So I think that might be what will help is the reduction of particles that are everywhere. I know Batania sports a lot of particles that are, yeah, just going to be there. But this actually helps out a lot. So decreasing that, if you guys are having issues with FPS, especially in a pack like this where there's tons of mods, including magic mods and stuff that uh, create a bunch of lag, that is something that I recommend doing. And as you can see, even coming over here, um, this is really where it starts kicking off. I don't know if the bees or anything that are causing issues. It may be this constant tick of the redstone here. I don't know. But it only happens when I start to come into this area and it could be the mob farm. It could be a lot of things. Yeah, I have my uh, mystical agriculture, or not mystical agriculture, astral sorcery stuff turned off as well. I have that gone, so I don't know. I don't know, maybe you guys can let me know ways to kind of improve that. Um, I did notice that these are kind of messed up. I gotta mention to be in the episode. I do have to reset them. But yeah, other than that, it's been a pretty good episode. I don't know about you guys, but uh, this was a pretty decent episode. I actually um, took a little, uh, a little tip from System. Um, I think it makes it easier to have your items in like a chest, like pre-prepared for your video. Um, so you don't have to spend so much time running to go, oh, I got to craft this. I'll be right back. Oh, I got to craft this. I'll be right back. Yeah, that kind of saves a lot of time um, not doing that. So having your items like prepared, especially for multi-blocks like this, makes a huge difference. So give him props, man. Um, if you don't if you don't know who System Class is, I highly recommend checking out his channel. Um, me and him hang out. And talk all the time so just uh just hit him up you know go to his channel click that subscribe button it's definitely worth it he's also playing the same pack i'm sure a lot of you guys already know who he is but like i said if you don't just uh, recommend checking him out so anyways bam let's go ahead and uh let's end this video here well if you guys enjoyed this episode please ever click that subscribe button if you haven't already and also give this video a thumbs up i really appreciate it you guys are awesome and as always thanks for watching let's go.